The story of Moses in the Bible is a tale of divine intervention, liberation, and leadership. It is primarily found in the book of Exodus, which is the second book of the Old Testament. Moses' story begins in ancient Egypt, where the Israelites, descendants of Abraham, were enslaved and oppressed by the Pharaoh. To curb the growing Israelite population, Pharaoh ordered the killing of all male Hebrew infants. However, Moses' mother, fearing for her son's life, placed him in a basket and set him afloat on the Nile River. Miraculously, Pharaoh's daughter discovered the baby Moses while bathing in the river. She took him in and raised him as her own. As Moses grew, he became aware of his Hebrew heritage. One day, witnessing the harsh treatment of his fellow Israelites, he intervened, killing an Egyptian who was mistreating a Hebrew slave. Fearing punishment, Moses fled to the wilderness. In the desert, Moses encountered a burning bush that was not consumed by the flames. From the bush, God spoke to Moses, instructing him to return to Egypt and demand the release of the Israelites. God revealed his name as Yahweh and empowered Moses with miraculous signs to convince the Israelites and Pharaoh of his divine mission. Moses, along with his brother Aaron, confronted Pharaoh, demanding the release of the Israelites. However, Pharaoh resisted, and God sent a series of plagues upon Egypt, each more severe than the last. These plagues included turning the Nile into blood, a swarm of frogs, gnats, flies, livestock diseases, boils, hailstorms, locusts, darkness, and finally, the death of the firstborn in every Egyptian household. After the tenth plague, Pharaoh relented and allowed the Israelites to leave. God led them through the wilderness with a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. The Egyptian army pursued them, but God miraculously parted the Red Sea, allowing the Israelites to cross safely. When the Egyptians attempted to follow, the waters closed, drowning the pursuing army. In the wilderness, Moses received the Ten Commandments on Mount Sinai, outlining the moral and ethical principles for the Israelites. The journey to the Promised Land was challenging, marked by moments of doubt, disobedience, and divine intervention. Moses, despite his flaws, served as a mediator between God and the people, leading them toward the land flowing with milk and honey. Ultimately, Moses was not permitted to enter the Promised Land due to disobedience, but he viewed it from Mount Nebo before his death. Joshua, his successor, led the Israelites into the long-awaited land of Canaan. Moses' legacy remains a symbol of faith, perseverance, and the transformative power of God's guidance.